So I have to show you guys something really cool. Um, I'm actually working on a bee removal right now, uh, which video will be on my other channel. But it just happens to be this beautiful white oak tree in the lady's front yard. Okay, so here I am eyeballing this white oak tree just like I normally do, you know, like a pervert for trees, I guess, because I'm always looking for logs. But as I look up the tree on this white oak, I see this very interesting leaf. And I'm trying to get my camera to, to focus on it to show you guys. I can't reach one, they're all too tall. But those of you that know anything about trees will know that that is not a standard white oak leaf. See the sawtooth pattern? It's an oval shaped leaf with a sawtooth pattern. What this is, is a swamp white oak. Oh, there's a really good right there. Look at that with the light kind of faded behind. This is a swamp white oak. And the reason why I'm so excited about this is because I just planted a hundred of these little boogers at my house. So you can see the bark on it. It looks very much just like a traditional white oak. Everything about this tree looks just like a white oak. Got the same branching structure, crooked, twisty branches, nice, big, straight, you know, even trunk with very few imperfections in the trunk. Everything about this to me, I'd say that's a white oak, you know, just a plain old white oak. But the leaf is a dead giveaway. So super exciting to me, like I said, kind of, kind of geeked out on a little bit. I got all excited, was talking to the homeowner, you know, telling her, I was like, you know, hey, I just planted a bunch of these and I, you know, everything I'd read said, oh, they look and act just like a regular white oak, but they can tolerate wet feet better than the standard white oak, hence the name swamp white oak. Now, I don't know what they're crossed with. The leaf to me looks a lot like a chinkapin oak and there's a few other oaks that have that sawtooth pattern on the leaf. But what I was going to show you guys while I was here talking about this, so this one again, very standard, you know, a little bit shaggy, a little bit tight though, uh, white oak bark all day long. Right here beside it is what I would call a traditional white oak. You see the lobes on the leaves there. Standard, you know, five lobe or seven lobe, whatever you call it, but the rounded lobes on the leaves. Actually, here, look, I can get over here. And she told me she actually wants to get this tree removed. So very much a white oak right there. But look at the bark on this one. The bark on this one is darker and it's a lot more blocky. So this bark to me is almost almost you know I, I can tell a post oak but this is more characteristic of a post oak the little tighter deeper furrowed blocky bark i would call that a post oak then you come over here i mean that tree is not a post oak i'm sorry that is a white oak but i'm saying based on the bark i would almost think it's a post oak and then you have this one which is another white oak traditional white oak and you see the bark is very very shaggy it almost looks like it's peeling off like a shag bark hickory so it's kind of funny to be right here in this, you know, in this lady's front yard. Man, I can't get that light right. 